What's up YouTube? Jeff, your style OG. And on today's video, I'm going to share with you my 12 best tips on how to handle a breakup. If you're new to the channel, we release a new video every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern, discussing various men's lifestyle topics such as style, grooming, and dating. I invite you to subscribe, tap the notification bell, and join us. And to my returning friends like Kelvin Munin, salute. Now, whether you broke up with them or they broke up with you, a breakup can be a very difficult time to go through in your life. It's a transitional period, a time to move forward and to reflect. And no matter how amicable the breakup may have been, it can be a very difficult process to go through. So on today's video, I wanna share with you 12 tips that'll help you go through a breakup and handle it a little better. Now, by no means is this a one size fit all solution. Every breakup is different. But I believe if you pay attention to the 12 tips I give you today, you'll be in a much better position to handle that breakup. So without any further delay, let's hop right into it. Now, the first tip on handling the breakup might be the most important one in my opinion. No matter whose idea it was or how well you think you guys still get along, make a clean break, especially in the beginning. It's very important when you have a breakup, take time apart. One of the pitfalls of trying to continue to have some sort of relationship, it can lead to a lot of confusion, either on their part or yours. It's a great way for you or them to get caught in an emotional roller coaster. Break up, take some time for yourself, move away from them. I recommend, unless it's completely unavoidable, make a clean break. No phone calls, no visits, no talking to each other at all. You guys are broken up, act like it. I highly recommend when you're having a breakup, make a clean break. Now, after you've made that clean break, it's very important that you process the emotions that go along with the breakup. I don't care if it was your idea, their idea, or a combination of the two. When you experience a relationship, you're experiencing a loss. Just like any loss in life, you need to process it. You need to mourn that relationship and process the emotions that go along with it. Whether you're feeling confusion, anger, disappointment, sadness, a feeling of rejection, you have these emotions, you need to get them out. And I get it, we're men, we're tough. But remember, we're human beings as well. We experience the full ranges of emotion. And you may feel that full range when you experience a breakup. Whether anger, sadness, or disappointment, let yourself experience the emotions that come along with that breakup. Now my next tip for handling a breakup is more of a modern one, but it's very important. When you go through a breakup, I highly recommend you chill on social media. When you're going through a breakup, is it really a good idea to go through 50 Instagram pictures of your ex thinking about her? I don't think so. And even worse, you definitely don't wanna see how much fun she's having without you. That's just gonna tear you up. Stay off Facebook, stay off Instagram, and for God's sake, don't cyber stalk her. I highly recommend that you don't worry about posting about your breakup. It's a breakup between you and her, not everybody else's business. Let only the people in that can support you. The rest of the world doesn't need to know. Posting about your breakup or talking about it on social media, you're inviting the rest of the world in. Keep the rest of the world out of your business and don't spend hours looking at her pictures. Not a good idea to engage in social media when you have a breakup. Now, one of the best ways to move on from a breakup, I highly recommend you start taking time to do things you really enjoy. Now, you're going to be sad, disappointed, angry, maybe confused. During this time, I highly recommend you do things that get your mind off of the breakup, things that bring you pleasure, whether it's spending time with friends or family, starting or continuing a new hobby, getting some stress out by hitting the weights and exercise, or better yet, start doing something you always wanted to do. Perhaps the relationship stood in the way. Right now, your life should be about you, putting you back together, prioritizing self-care. When you're going through a breakup and processing the negative emotions, one of the best ways to counterbalance it, start doing things you really enjoy. Now for my next tip on how to best handle a relationship, you'll get differing opinions when it comes to this one. But I highly believe when you first break up, don't date right away. As I mentioned earlier, when you're having a breakup, you're experiencing a loss. 
you need to take time to yourself to process the loss. And I highly recommend the longer the relationship, the longer you wait to date. A couple of the signs that you're ready to date, you no longer want your ex back. You can really say to yourself, you've accepted the breakup. And you're pretty sure anyone you date won't just be a rebound. There will be plenty of time to start dating again once you've processed the relationship. I highly recommend you take some time off the dating scene when you first break up. Now, I'm a firm believer that you keep as many people out of your business as possible. But if you do feel the need to confide in someone about the breakup, I would keep the details to a minimum. And as much as possible, don't talk negatively about your ex. If you feel like you need to get things out, just talk about how you're feeling, the emotions you may be going through, the disappointment, the anger, the confusion. It's okay to talk about that, but I wouldn't get into the nitty gritty of what happened. Especially if you guys run in the same social circle, you don't wanna play into the gossip. There's no upside to dissing your ex. And if you're in the same social circles, it's only gonna to lead to a back and forth scenario. So although I recommend talking to friends and family when going through a breakup, talk about the emotions, keep the details of the breakup to a minimum. Now this next tip on handling the breakup, I believe is a very important one. Please make sure you're not trying to numb the emotions you're experiencing with drugs, alcohol, or partying. I get it, the emotions that are associated with the breakup can be very difficult to deal with. It can be very tempting to try to numb them. But indulging in drugs and alcohol and partying when you're emotional is a very slippery slope. It's very easy to get out of control. Yes, I highly recommend that you enjoy yourself when you're going through a breakup, but try to do more positive, productive things. Drugs, alcohol, and partying, I don't believe is a great move when you're going through something so substantial. It easily lead to abuse. I actually recommend that if you are somebody who drinks or parties, tone it down when you're going through a breakup. These activities can very easily get out of control. Don't try to numb the pain with substances and partying. Now, earlier in the video, we talked about that it's probably very good to get the emotions out and experience the emotions you're having when it comes to the breakup. One of the best ways to do this in private, write how you're feeling down. One of the main reasons why I like writing things down, even when it comes to a breakup, seeing it written down makes it more real. And I also believe writing things down, seeing them on paper, allows you to get some clarity, some more understanding. This is a great way to process and really get out the emotions you're experiencing. Although I do think it's a great idea to share with confidants what you're going through, that's not always the best move. Another way to process these emotions write them down, get them on paper. It'll help you better understand your breakup. Now, earlier in the video, I talked about how when you break up, you should make a clean break. But I know some of you guys won't listen. You'll probably say, we can just be friends. That can happen on a rare occasion. But I highly recommend if you're going to try to stay friends, don't try to be friends right away. One of the key reasons why I recommend you not try to be friends right away Probably one of you still wants to be together. If you're still communicating, still hanging out, it leads to confusion. It can easily lead to the person who really didn't want to break up thinking you're going to get back together. It can easily give that person a false sense of hope. That's not fair. Breaking up is difficult enough without the confusion of where your relationship stands. Although on a rare occasion you can be friends after a breakup, don't try to do it right away. Now, one of the things I highly recommend you do, especially if you're experiencing a difficult breakup, make sure you go outside, get out of the house. One of the things that can be very tempting when you're going through such a difficult time, you will have the urge to isolate yourself, to just wallow in the misery. Yes, I want you to process your emotions, but not wallow. That's why I highly recommend when going through a breakup, go outside, get some fresh air, Get some sunshine on you. It's healthy for you. It will get you moving. It can help you to stop thinking about the breakup day and night. And another thing that can easily happen when you isolate yourself and don't go out, it can easily lead to unhealthy behavior. Whether we're talking about drinking alone, eating too much, putting on some breakup weight, or on the opposite end of the spectrum, not eating enough. Make sure if you're going through a breakup, especially a difficult one, 
go outside. Now, one of the things I highly recommend you do in any transitional period of your life, including a breakup, take the time to find out what you can learn from it. Yes, there are lessons you can learn from a breakup. There's a lot you can learn in life when things fail, including a relationship. For instance, when you have a breakup, you might have learned in that relationship what you like or don't like in a partner. You can also learn what you should do, or maybe even more importantly, what not to do in your next relationship. You can figure out how you can be a better partner. You also can take the time to have some accountability. I don't care if it was 99.9% .9 her fault, there's some fault lying in both parties. And also going through a breakup, you can learn you might have been looking for too much validation in that breakup. A breakup can teach you self-validation. And one of the great things you can learn from this failed relationship, you might realize you have some deal breakers. So just like with any misstep in life, failure or loss, you can learn some valuable lessons in a breakup. Now next up is a tip that I think a lot of guys need to hear. When you experience a breakup, remember you broke up for a reason. When you've had a breakup, especially immediately after, it can be very tempting to go back. And then the farther along you get from the relationship, you can start to romanticize your ex-partner. Start thinking it really wasn't that bad. And the further you get away, you start to remember the good memories more than the bad. But remember, you guys broke up for a reason. Nine times out of 10, it's not a good idea to backtrack. Now going back with the ex, does it work sometimes? It can work occasionally, but most of the time, I believe it's not a great idea. Unless you process the situation, gone through it, and see where you really can fix it, most of the time, I don't recommend backtracking. You have to keep in mind, some things you didn't like about her, some things she couldn't stand about you. Remember, you broke up for a reason. Now handling a breakup, whether it's your idea, their idea, or a combination of the two, isn't always easy. When you go through a breakup, you're experiencing a loss. You need to process it properly. And I believe if you take the time to implement most of the 12 steps or tips we talked about on today's video, you'll do a much better job of handling your breakup. Now, as always, I love your input. Let us know in the comment section if you have some tips on how you've handled a breakup in the past that you think might benefit the Style OG family.